Ah! I'm trapped! I'm trapped! What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we made it here behind this waterfall, and we apparently need to uh, say the password to get in. But what do we do? Well, if you push the up arrow, it says say the password. Now, what you want to do here is... Okay, I think that should still be okay. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to touch anything for three minutes. You just want to let the thing go. Okay, if you t if you touch the uh, any part of the the directional pad or you move your character in any way, it'll the timer will reset and you'll have to do this all again. So basically, you just gotta sit still for three whole minutes. So I would take this opportunity to go get a drink or to uh, you know go to the bathroom or you know do whatever it is you need to do uh, during this time of three minutes. Now I'll edit this out because I'm not gonna make you sit and wait for three minutes, but just know that that's what you have to do. So I'm gonna wait for this to be finished. And then as soon as this is done, I'll be right back and we'll continue into the next area. Okay, there we go. I've waited three minutes and nothing's uh, happened, or I didn't do anything, and now I can enter this area. Kind of a strange way to enter an area, but fair enough. Hmm. Did I bring some fly honey? Uh, well, yes, I did. Uh, okay, sure, but what happens if you say no? Whoops. Sorry, try that again. No. Yeah, you go into a little battle here against the slimy little pile, so. Oh yeah, they make us cry, I forgot about that. So again, a reminder, that's the uh, status ailment blind there, but uh, I can deal with that. Choose some PSI freeze. Yeah, that'll take care of that real quick. And 660 experience, not bad. So yeah, that's pretty much just a weaker version of the little barf. Ooh, of the, the mini barf from earlier. So, okay. Now we have these little red things. This is one of my favorite enemies in the game, the Foppy. Because they're really easy, but they still give a really good amount of experience. So this is a great way to get some levels, is uh, to fight these Foppies. So I will be seeing them a lot here, just a little bit there, BCS Universe. Okay, and sometimes there's zombies in this room, so you just gotta watch for that. And we get a bomb. Cool. Give that to, uh, let's see, we'll give that to Jeff there. So he can use that. Okay, very good. Okay, there's a couple more of these foppies. Uh, so let me show you just uh, what they can do. Yeah, but see, I mean, they don't have a whole lot of speed. And they're pretty weak, so yeah, great way to get some levels is the f fighting these stupid little foppies. So okay, cool. Let's keep on moving. Okay, we got three foppies here, so maybe I'll have an, actually have an opportunity to show you what, they, what we can do here against these foppies. Now the only thing that's the downside against these foppies is oh yeah, see they don't attack you. They don't attack you for a whole lot of damage either is they can sometimes come in a group of six or so. And if they, if you fight multiple of them, just use PSI fire and you should be okay. But Leo, look at that, 1,311 experience. And that hardly took anything from me at all. Yep, thought that might happen. Okay, let's see, now we're gonna go this way and we wanna start by going, let's see, what? Are they trapping the Mr. Saturns? Okay, I don't feel like fighting these little barfs. Uh, let me see. I'll make sure I'm going the right way here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think it's over here is where we want to go. And I just realized I went the wrong way. Uh, I want to go down first. I don't feel like fighting these mini barfs. Are they trapping the Mr. Saturns? Well, that isn't very cool. Uh, by the way, I got another level for Paula and for Jeff, and Paula learned a new spell. Uh, she learned, where is it? Yeah, offense up, so we can uh, increase someone's attack power. So that's pretty cool. And we got some more of these farm zombies. I'll show you the best way to deal with these guys is just, yeah, cast PSI fire on them, and boom! Yeah, still can't kill him. Oh, well, if you, if you get lucky, you can maybe kill him. Yeah, look at that, man. We're doing really good with our attack power, actually. Um, 
I'm actually doing really, really, really well. So I'm very happy how this is going. Um, okay. And let's see what we get here. Ooh, an IQ capsule. Now we're definitely, uh, let's see. Now I don't remember, I don't know if you can give it to anybody or if that person automatically uses it. So again, always use the IQ capsules on Jeff. Okay, so you can just give it to you. Yeah, so that he can he can repair items faster. And we get a broken laser inside, so anytime it's broken, we're gonna want to give that to Jeff. Okay, very good. Yeah, let's just keep on moving here. And now we want to go up and over here. There we go. Oh, I see. Foppy thinks he can take me out. Oh, so Gygus is around here. Hmm. Okay, so let's keep on moving now. And uh, let's see, we're going to want to head up here. Yep. Okay, lots of enemies here. So what we're going to want to do for this is, what? let's see, uh, let's, yeah, we have the mostly bad fly here. Uh, let's see, does she have, yes, yeah, she does have the insecticide spray, so we're going to use that, and actually, you know what, I just realized I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, there we go. And you know what, I got an even better idea. Let's use the power of the BCS universe, and insecticide spray, there we go. Yeah, and he'll usually do that first round. There we go. Ow. So yeah, those they have really high powers. Of, they have really high speed. Those slimy little piles. Boom. I probably could have used. I um, uh, probably could have used you know the regular BCS universe power, but that's okay. Come on. Yeah, nice job, Jeff. Even with tears in his eyes, he was able to kick their ass. Wow, lots of experience there. Love it. Uh, yep. Okay, I wasn't really quite ready for that battle, but fine. Ooh, we got some lots of trash cans here. And we got a vital capsule. Now, we're definitely going to want to use some of your capsules here on Paula. And vitality goes up by one. Yeah, it's okay to actually use capsules on um, uh, get the characters other than the main hero. And we'll talk about that a lot more uh, as the game goes on. And we have an HP sucker which can uh, drain HP from the enemy, and Jeff's the only one that can use that, so we will give him that. One thing I forgot to mention also is that um, the slimy little piles can call for help, and uh, this just happened to me, and all my characters gain a level, because I just got 4,000 experience from that battle, and as you can see, I'm nearly drained on PP too, so this could get kind of interesting. Ooh, I am getting my butt handed me here, BCS Universe. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, okay, this is not the room I'm looking for. Let's see, where is it? Ah, there we go. This is the room I'm looking for. Now, this is a special room which will only contain a magic butterfly. And it will pretty much spawn over and over and over again, so you can give you a chance to get your PP back. And after this area, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of this because you need it. So, I'm gonna do this, go in and out of this room, and the butterfly will reappear. Let me show you that real quick here. Yeah, see, so there he is again. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal up and then uh, also make sure I have full HP and, M and uh, PP and then we will continue on with our adventure. Okay, we're all healed up and we're ready to go. Um, like I said, it's, whoops. I think it's perfectly okay to take advantage of that room. Not worried about uh, that at all. All right, no problems there. Uh, what? I'm confused. Uh, well, what are you going to do about it? Oh. By the way, also, don't be afraid to use your magic here. Um. Because you actually won't need magic for the boss. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Oh, I also had to use a secret herb. A secret herb. Secret herb earlier. Because, uh, Paula got smashed. So, that sucks. And now if we go over here, oh, whoa, this guy looks pretty foul. Whoa, he's burping at me. Yes. 
A boy will destroy Master Gygus, okay? Heeg, heeg, heeg. He's burping again! Gross! Alright. The pain of true nausea. Ugh. Well, anyways, this guy is gross, but it's time for a boss battle against Master Belch. Man, what the crap is up with this? Okay, to deal with this guy, we're just gonna use the jar of fly honey. Ew. Ugh. Okay, so we need to deal with that. So I believe Healing B can take care of that. And let's use physical attacks here. Ha ha! Yeah, so. Um, so once he's used, um, once he's got the Jar of Fly Honey, he's pretty much immobile for the rest of the entire battle. See, I mean, you could, this battle could go an infinite number of rounds, and he will still be eating that Fly Honey. So, yeah, easiest boss battle in the game, by far. See? Now all we need to do is just do that, and he's dead. Yeah! And a free 4,000 experience. I love it. Ooh, Hypnosis Omega. So now we can put everybody to sleep. Ugh, what a gross enemy. Ugh. The Manny Manny statue. Uh-oh. What's that? Living in your own puke. Well, I think I'm just... I think I've stepped in it now. Hey! Someone in the first town called me Spanky. That was the grossest battle ever. Ugh. Uh-oh, and now we're in a cave with a Mr. Saturn. Oh, good, he escaped. Oh, he's burping. Ugh. Has he inhaled some of the fumes of Master Belch? Ugh. That's gross. Uh-huh. Stinky P.U. Ugh. My... Did he, like, burp on me or something? Or... Ugh. Oh, he barfed on me. Ew. So was he, like, really drunk? And, like, got really sick. Maybe that fly honey made him drunk and he got, like, so sick that he puked on me. Oh, great. Well, the, yeah, the ladder's been extended since the last time I was here. Uh-oh, the screen's heating up. This is like Super Mario RPG. Uh-oh. Is he gonna jump out of the... Oh, no. Okay. No, he's not gonna... Yeah, these hot springs actually uh, heal you up, so that's good. Uh, no. No copy right now. Uh, we'll come back to that later. And it wouldn't be an area, uh, we wouldn't be reaching a new area if we didn't have an opportunity to take a picture. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll say Pickle Fuzzies. Oh, no, I got that backwards. My fault. And you can't even see Ness smile behind Paul's fat head. All right. And now we've successfully reached this area. And there's another hole, and there's another new cave. A milky well. What is this? Ding, 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 ding. You're going to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all. What a fucked up area.